Hello everybody, welcome to another COD video, my name is London Status. Yes, this is going to be a later preview and this is the reason why. As you can see in the store it says Cold War. Cold War is coming out to Call of Duty. Activision just had a little meeting over it today and talked quite a bit about it. So I will talk about the Modern Warfare along with the Cold War that's coming out. But we're going to start with the Modern Warfare side first and then I'll talk more about the Cold War that will be out. So for your multiplayer game mode, you have being replaced as Hardcore Shoot House and Shipment. They're bringing that back. It's just a 5v5 map is all. It's not 6v6 or 10v10, it's just 5v5. That is for that. Ground War, nothing to change there. Still the same maps. You have your blueprint gunfight. The only thing that changed to Ground War is Reinforce, which is where you capture points with when your teammates have been knocked down or dead and you can revive them. And you need a certain amount of points to win the round. And then you have Face Off. At Verdansky Stadium, which is just a gunfight map basically at stadium. I'm assuming it's going to be the small soccer field is what it is going to be on. Nothing. Not nothing else, but nothing new with it. Would be my guess. And then you have shoot, which is shoot the ship is your new mosh pit map. And then you have your trials and all of that. And then for your store, you have the Nikto Firestarter pack. You get a skin for him, a shotgun skin, a new melee, a new shield skin. You get another vehicle customization skin, a sticker, emblem, calling card charm, and you get a fire truck horn. And this is what it sounds like. Interesting, but that is one of the operators. The only thing I notice is he got a different uniform and just a red mask for him. And then you got your main frame, which comes with a light machine gun blueprint, a calling card emblem, and a two tier battle pass skip. You also got Neon Knight 3 that came out, which is a submachine gun, blueprint, emblem, and a calling card. And I think that's all that came out for the store for it. If we take a look over at the Warzone side, your Battle Royale is still the same. Solos, quads, trios, duos, still the same. You got a new game mode out called Kingslayer Trios, which is a multi-team deathmatch in Verdansk. And it's the first squad to reach the kill limit wins. So it's just, I have not played it. I don't know what you go to. Your team has to get so many kills. I'm assuming it's just redeploy after redeploy. Because I mean, I'm assuming it's just like war, like a giant. It's just like war zones, my guess. But you, but you respawn. You don't have to get bought back in or anything. And then you got plunder quads that is out as well so we go back to the store and in the store you notice Cold War they released it just today for a meeting on about it and we we'll talked quite a bit about it I did not attend that to see or listen to what they talked about but you can pre-order Cold War as of today, as it being August 26th. So that is out for pre-order. You got your standard edition. You got your cross-gen bundle, which is, I'm assuming, a mixture between, like, PS4 to PS5, I'm assuming. 
and then you got your ultimate edition one so if you pre-ordered the standard edition you're looking around 60 bucks the cross gen I'm assuming is gonna be around 80 bucks and then you have your ultimate edition which is probably gonna be around a hundred bucks for US currency for foreign for currency I have no clue what that would be but that is kind of an estimated price for it all so when they released it today uh, the Cold War revealed that it is a direct sequel of the original Black Ops which was set in the mindset of Cold War in the 1980s and players will battle around the globe through iconic locals with like Eastern Berlin, Vietnam, Turkey, Soviet KJB headquarters, and more as part of the campaign mode. Along in the campaign, the Cold War will feature both multiplayer and zombies experience for you zombie people out there. They will have zombies coming out for this Black Ops. Uh, Cold War is leaked to be spilled, which was today, August 26th. I'll talk about it a little bit on Twitter. It's on their Twitter. If you want to go follow it, just go to Modern War Zone, Modern War Zone on their Twitter account, which has a release date, which is set for the 13th of November. Is their prediction to be being released? Multiplayer though will be out November or er, September 9th. For you guys who want to just get into the multiplayer, I don't know if this is all true yet. It's still kind of the process of being out. They're not 100% sure. So, behind the Modern Warzone type feel, they managed to find for like Warzone, they plan on including like a zombie royale, a pandemic slash outbreak, a plunder fire sale in an armor cargo slash truck war so what I my thinking on that was it would be cool to see some of that inputted into season six I don't want them to put it into season five because season five right now just got that update with the train and blown off stadium that was a lot to change the map adding that stuff to season six will change how the game will be played out completely or so for this kind of gameplay for me for Cold War I plan on doing a lot of the campaign only maybe a couple of zombie videos occasionally not saying I will but just kind of an idea but it will mostly be strictly on the campaign it won't be multiplayer I mean occasionally it could be but that's what I plan on doing with the Cold War when it gets released and for you guys who pre-order the Cold War kind of fits into Warzone kind of if you get the early access you get Woods as an operator for Warzone that you can use Woods I'm assuming is the character on the right hand side with more of the helmet the left side is Hudson however he is making a return back to Black Ops so those are the two operators that I know of I don't know about any other operators that are coming out but that is a guess but yeah so for the, if you purchase the pre-order for Cold War you get Woods as your operator for Warzone that you can be used as that's all I know on Cold War this is why this came out later it didn't come out on Tuesday this video because I kinda wanted to wait and talk about it on what I would plan on doing for the Cold War series when it came out along with the update to Modern Warfare anyway guys there is a lot probably out there still I guarantee you guys look it up it'll be out there I'm gonna do some researching on my own about it but I probably won't make a video on it. I'll probably have a link, like a description in about the whole Cold War idea on 
everything if I find a bunch of links I'll put the links down in the description box below for you guys so you guys can go to those links and look at the patch notes slash the Twitter feed and anything else but I'm gonna end the video there guys thank you guys for watching remember to like comment subscribe share and hit that notification bell for your next video and I'll see you guys next time thanks guys